Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Try Out Tuesday. These Tuesdays are already coming thick and fast, aren't they, in the new year? Which, which is good, like I say. We lost that much time before Christmas. I'm very happy. Um, right, okay. So tonight we're going to be focusing on what you can do and the properties of Bee Crafty Stamping Tissue. Okay, and we're also going to be launching some new wordy stickers that Sam has made for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the comments. So as you join on, could you please hit one of the emojis, preferably not the thumbs up. Now go for something different, a heart, a wow, uh, you know, something. Just going to spend all this time deciding what we do and do not like. Hi, Gail. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Alison. Hi, JJ. Right. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, we're going to be working with the stamping tissue tonight. I'm not sure if we'll complete any projects. It's more just to have a talk through, show you what it can do, because we've had a few questions. Oh, not the angry one. I don't think I like that one. Um, <laughs> but I did say any of them, didn't I? Um, yeah, just have a little show through. What you can do with it, we've had, it's one of the things we've had some questions on recently. We did get a few, can you show this, can you show that, um, over Christmas when we when we weren't about. So I am going to try and do them in order, um, or as I remember. So if you did send a question and you're worried it's not going to get covered, as we're back on sorting stuff out now, feel free to send that again. You know, if there's another product you want us to review, go back over, you know, chat about... That is absolutely fine, and we're really, really, really okay with that. Um, right. See, the comments aren't aren't all updating. Okay. Oh, the angry face was you, Gail. <laughs> no, it's absolutely fine. I did say press anyone, didn't I? Okay. So first things first. As they say in that quite popular song. First things first. Right, your stamping tissue comes to you in big sheets. They're actually twice this size. Okay. Um, now, now, you can buy these in packs of three or six. Okay. So you can... It's Shaz Conabier. Hello, my darling. How are you feeling? I wasn't sure if you were going to make it, but I am doing the stamping tissue as I promised. Um... I know you've had a bit of a, a bit of a rubbish few days, so you know. Um, yeah, so first things first, it comes in three or six sheet packs. Um, so therefore, because to be honest, we initially just did it in three sheets, um, but we had a lot of people say when I get in that sort of stamp and tissue zone, um, I keep going till it's gone, so I could do with more. Um, and I know I totally know that feeling. You guys that are with me regularly, you know, it's when something sits on my desk as I get a new stamp or whatever. Once it hits my desk, that's where it stays um, for, for a couple of weeks. So Sam's put the link on for the three sheet one there. Um, but there is there is the six sheet as well. Alison loves this product, uses it a lot. But I will say, Alison uses all of her products a lot. Um, <laughs> she uses so much all the time. Now, the good thing about your stamping tissue is it goes completely translucent, okay? So if you are adding, if you want to add stamped images to uneven surfaces, if you want to go over a background you've created, for example, a lovely dilution painted background, over your catalyst papers, but you're not that confident with your stamping, for a start, it's going to come out lovely and clear on your tissue paper because it's a smooth it will come out really, really beautiful. Um, so you you're not you don't have to be as hesitant with it. Secondly, because it will because it goes translucent and it is so thin, it will sort of go completely translucent as you apply it. Now I've got a couple of examples here. So for example, we've got this one here, then we've got this one on the burlap. Now you'll see I didn't use a lot of it on the burlap. Um, I didn't stick it heavily in different areas because I wanted sort of a mix of texture. But if I pick this up for you now, you can see, for example, in this area, where I've applied more collage medium, it's just the, you can just see the, the, the burlap through. 
okay it means you can go over your texture paste okay that's um that's the um catalyst paper so you can go over your catalyst paper okay we've got some more in here i'm sure Was it this one I wanted to go into some more of? Yeah, so Dream here. Now, the thing you'll notice with Dream here, and this was also a Try Out Tuesday, okay, is <clears throat> you can invert your faces. So when you stamp Dream, she's actually facing the other way. But all you do is invert it, okay? You can use this on your candles if you want to stamp images onto candles. I've also used it to make an acrylic bookmark. That was quite good fun. Um, well, it doesn't make an acrylic bookmark to decorate an acrylic bookmark. So we'll try and get to that as well. All right, so it's great for going on MDF. There's, there's your stamping tissue again. Okay, so it just means if you've got your background sorted and you want to apply an, a stamped image to it but you don't feel confident as i generally don't um something we have also done and this wasn't in this journal but i did this on a live as well you can also heat emboss on it okay so <clears throat> this is where it all goes so what we'll do is we'll do some stamping we'll go on to some other pages i have also got my little see this is what the this is where i get frustrated because i have prepped and then i can't find what i've prepped okay so and i've got some pages in here that have got some embossing paste on through a big one okay and i'll show you how you can basically use your stamped images to go direct over there so you can stamp on it you can spray it you can also color it in okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and stamp lots of things you can stamp um regular candles as well gail um as well as the led with the wax on but all i will say is if you are stamping a candle i don't think i've got one locally if you're stamping it to go on a candle the first time you burn it don't burn it all the way to the outside burn it so that you've got a ledge and then blow it out and let it set okay so so you've got a rim and then every time you burn it it'll go straight down so it'll never hit the paper anyway okay and never ever leave candles unattended top tip all right <clears throat> so there was another one i'm sure this is the problem you see i find them and then i don't put i should put um post-it notes in shouldn't i but i didn't so what can you do right so first of all we're going to stamp on it and then we'll start going through all the different things okay so i'm going to get a lovely clean sheet and open it up there is also some new wordy stickers on the website today. Bless it, Sam's been working on these. Uh, for, they've actually been ready for a little while. But it was just, you know, things have been occurring, haven't they? I'm going to need to put something underneath that because my sheet's all dirty, isn't it? I'm going to need a new pad soon. So what? I'm going to take this off and turn it over. It should be fine, actually. It'll be a bit cleaner if we just turn it over. There we go. Okay. Now, this tissue paper was selected after some real sort of trying trial and error um, with different manufactured tissue paper because we wanted something that wasn't... As daft as it sounds, it had to be thin enough that it would go translucent when you use collage medium with it but we needed it to be weighty enough that it didn't disintegrate at first look you know what i mean so you could do some coloring on it if you want to etc etc so <clears throat> and that's where the difficulty always seems to lie okay so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to stamp one of the faces because i want to show you the inversion that i was talking about 
Okay, so we're going to take the lovely look here. Okay, one of my favourites to use um, because I think look just it could be anyone. Um, she has. I always say she's a she. That doesn't mean she's a she, but she has quite you know sort of stoic expression. She's not too. You know, not even pensive. It's just, just a regular relaxed face. There's nothing really, you know. And I like that. Maybe it's because I'm always a tetchy. Who knows? Right. You can tell I've reverted to type now, can't you? Lost everything. Don't know what's happening. And the problem is, because this is one of these product ones where I want to make sure I say all the right things that which inevitably means i'm going to go wrong oh there's my new bursa fine um you know which inevitably means i'm going to forget something but i start rushing so i don't forget something and then i do right so first things first you just stamp onto here like you would onto anything but like i say it's lovely and smooth even when it's got crinkles in it it's still really really smooth because it's a thin okay so just use your super skinny slim to apply lovely even pressure hold down as you peel off and look really sort of vivid vivid image now my first fine is relatively new so i'm going to give that a quick waft with the heat tool and to give you an idea of how thin it is it's gone through onto here okay but like i say and that was the difficulty me and sam had when we were researching a stamping tissue that we wanted because it had to be thin enough that that's possible so therefore you've got a good stamped image on the other side but but weighty enough so it didn't disintegrate at the first sign of water so you know it was a tough one it was a tough one but we managed we got there okay so i'm going to give that a quick waft now now you can cut round this if you want to um, i've got a big pair of scissors that I, I do that for but what i also like to do is you can cut it out with water so you can get I'm not going to cut it out with that one because that's, that's still got blue in it. I thought I'd cleaned that properly. I'll put that to the side. I've got this paintbrush here. Okay. And I'm just going to draw around the outside. Now the advantage you have with this is I do think this helps. The sort of <clears throat> blending it in. Because you've got a nice feathered edge rather than a harsh one but like i say i don't do it all the time and i've got a sample to show you in a second where i haven't done this but if you do for example cut it and then you decide to do this after you can just go around with a wet paintbrush and add that on after okay so we have our look there so what we can do with that now is we can apply that do you know what i'm going to go into because this will cover a few a few techniques i'm going to go into my media journal and i'm currently basically working my way from the front trying to fill up all the pages um so the first page i know we're going to get to is the back of this canvas okay so look there but what we can do is we can invert her. So she's actually facing the other way. So it kind of means you get more bang for your buck. And it also means you don't have to worry about mirror, mirror stamping a, a, a larger image. Okay. Because you can just flip it over. So lovely, lovely and easy. Okay. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to take craft a lunch because I know lots of people do worry about stamping on your fabric pages of your journals it's not something I'm massively fond of because I all seem to get it wrong and sometimes you want the solid image you don't want that broken up fabric image and this is where your stamping tissue really does come into its own that's texture paste not collage medium um, I have had Oh, I just saw Heidi. 
She was asking when the big, the bigger pots of matte medium were going to be back in. I don't know. And trust me, I am as keen as you. Okay? I really am. So I'm just going to add some water to this. Thin it out a little bit. <laughs> Make it last a bit longer. Mm. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to invert this. So therefore... I'm going to apply... I want it to go really translucent. I'm going to apply gel medium to the back. Now I've picked it up. I've got a fold in it. I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to carry on with my gel medium. Brushing that out. And then you have got a perfectly stamped image on a fabric page. Okay? Which would be reasonably impossible to do to stamp directly on. Um, can add a little bit more to that. Okay. So you've got that lovely image. And it's there now. It's stuck in. You're patiently waiting your order of small bottles. I know. It's almost like everyone discovered gel medium over the Christmas holidays. Um, our map mediums, and now we can't. So I'm going to give that a quick waft with the heat tool. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it is better if it's left to dry. You tend to get a better finish. So I'm just going to force dry a little bit, and then we'll move on to the next bit. Because what we're going to do next is something I do find is if I demonstrate just in black, it can give the impression that you can only stamp on it in black, which of course isn't true. You can stamp on it in any colour you want. So if we take that, I'll put that just to the side, and we'll get. Oh, I know a lot of you did treat yourself to the buy one, get one free we put on on Friday. So why don't I get. Some of Sam's super backgrounds, and we'll get art backgrounds too because I love these squiggly squiggles, they're so pretty. And we're gonna layer them up, but we're gonna do sort of a couple of different colorways. All right, let me just get my blending mat out. I'll tell you what, I am gonna do, I'm gonna get some of my stamp and stencil tape. And just stick this down, otherwise it's going to wiggle as I'm doing things. I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp in my mini archivals, all right? Um, because when I go in with my collage medium, I don't want it to move. All right. So we'll go with the Tim Holtz ones for a fossilised amber, because I think that'll look really nice on the green. And then... We'll go with a rustic wilderness because it's such an awesome green. Okay, so we'll go with fossilised amber first because that way I won't worry too much about having to clean my stamp. Not that we, as we all know, it's not like that's something I necessarily pay a lot of heed to anyway. I love this. It's kind of, I don't know, it gives me, oh, so it lifted some of the black there. That's quite good, isn't it? Makes it very vibey. Um, it sort of gives me sound waves meets ECG. Meets, I just love it. It's so cool. Okay. And then we're going to go in with some rustic wilderness. But we're going to offset. So it's all very wild and funky. 
as it turns out, how the archival has lifted the bit of black ink that was on there, I probably could have got away with it. Okay. And then I'm not even going to wet it this time. We're going to rip and create almost like a like a washi tape in a way. I'm going to create. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip off. These sharp ends because I think to have them go on like that is going to look really, really cool. Right. So, again, it's another way of being able. See, this one, I'm actually not fussed if a little bit. It doesn't go perfectly translucent. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't sort of a job. But again, you've got that perfect, perfect stamping right onto the fabric page. Okay, and then you could go in there with some of your doodlar circles, like the mandalas or something like that. But what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go straight onto Sam's Wordy stickers. Okay, and we're going to go for, I think we're going to go for some of the white ones. Okay, you'll be very pleased for these. I mean, as you can see, I've already been using them. Um, these have got some of the phrases that Sam has really put together. Um, and ones again that we use every day. You'd think we'd be finished by now, but we're not. She's gone for you absolute. Now for anyone that's new to be crafty, we are firm believers that you can insult someone in a friendly way, or even in a very, it can't be called offensive way, by just putting you absolute in front of anything. Okay, so you absolute salad, you absolute pencil. So she's put those on there for you. Um, this one is actually a favorite of Alex's. Um, some a lot of these are two parters because lots of the lots of people have been liking putting you know several onto a page or a card. Um, this sounds like an is you, not an is me. Okay, um, I'm in shape. Round is a shape. I'm sure that one's for me. You are creative, so make your own luck. There's a really good one. I wish you saw what I see when I look at you. See, that's a nice one. That is. Be the exception, dream without fear. So there is some one-liners too. There's some three-liners, some two-liners. There's loads. Absolutely loads. 84, in fact. Um, and you can obviously you can mix them up and mix and match however you like. Okay. The you okay hunt always makes me laugh. Um, okay, so we're going to go with... I'll tell you what, we're going to go with... Now, think of your wordy stickers, kind of like washi tape. If you're putting them on a journal, now obviously on something textured, you would do this anyway. But when I'm putting them on a card or on a journal or whatever, I also use collage medium, the same as I do with washi tape. I use, I think of the, the sticky on it as just as a placement tool. So we're going to go with... I wish you saw what I see. When I look at you. Okay, so, so far, she does have a t-shirt with you okay, hun, on it. It's really, really funny. They wouldn't let her wear it on TV. <laughs> we went to, we went to, <laughs> uh, to do a launch one, 
And they went, you do have something to change into, don't you, Sam? And she was like, yeah. She also has one that says wing in it. They wouldn't let her wear that either. <laughs> we thought they were a hoot. A hoot and a half, in actual fact. Okay, so here we go. Is your absolute kitchen tweezer on there? No, it's not Noreen, but guess what? Absolutely, guess what? We are going to show you later. We're going to go into the Bee Crafty Stamps group and we're going to show you what fa Sally found on the IKEA website. It literally says cooking tweezers for a pair of tongs. That is a, that is a joke going back for anyone that's new here. Um, Sam couldn't remember the name for tongs. So she's going, you know, them kitchen tweezers. <laughs> tongs. But on the IKEA website, they did say cooking tweezers. Because Sally sent it to us today. Very, very funny. But she's out being a ninja right now, so we'll show you later. Um, see, Annie's laughing. She knows. Um, so there, so there, we've already got several techniques that you can do with your stamping tissue. The most important of all, obviously, being you can stamp and get therefore get a perfect image on a not flat surface without having to worry about it you know i even use it on i would even use it on the cotton paper to be honest because everything in this journal is textured everything in this journal is textured you can see i do loads of layering because otherwise the stamping's textured you know so your stamping tissue is your friend there's stamping tissue i think that was the very first one i did with stamping tissue and yes that is on the youtube Right, so we've done the stamping on the tissue paper. We've done the inverting the image. Okay. We've done stamping colours and making your strips. Okay. What we're also going to do, I've put my little journal down again. I'll tell you what. I was going to say I shouldn't be let out by myself, but I'm neither out nor by myself, am I? So, you know, moving swiftly on. Okay, something else you can do is you can colour them in. Now, I've already done this, but I don't mind showing you a little bit again. I've just got to find somewhere to put it. Just because it's a little one, really. Ooh, I need to pay the page. Let's see if it'll go on there. Right. So this is the Doodle Art Sunflower that I have stamped on the stamping tissue. And coloured in with eco lines okay and i literally just did this just before we came on but in order to prove myself i will start another one um because obviously we all know the eco lines are really wet aren't they but this comes back to the research that we did so there you go I'm going to go back to... See, doesn't the fact my sunflower stamp was right here and I haven't used it on a live recently prove I did this. <laughs> um, craft a lunch. I'm going to put my sunflower on here. One day I will be more organised. I'm going to ink up my sunflower. Now, this one isn't as black because I did do it on my old, with my old verse fine. As you saw at the beginning, I didn't know where the other one was. And we're going to stamp. Do we still do the dragon stamp? No, Dennis is retired. I'm sorry. He's gone, gone, gone. But you see how easy it is to stamp onto your stamping tissue. Okay? It's just easy peasy. Because it is such a light paper. Because it is so much thinner. You're just more likely to get a good image every time. Do you know what I mean? And I like that. I like the guarantee. What are the texture stamps called? They are called Art Backgrounds 1 and 2. This one here is number 2. There is a number 1 which is more geometric. Which I think is a blooming good word. For me to come up with when I'm obviously scrambling evening i'm just going to cut that out with some skizzers we right so i'm going to grab my eco lines see there's the proof as well look there's the four colors i used on top 
I mean, no one said I was lying. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to say that, but you know what I mean. Right. But I've coloured it in so you don't need to watch me do all of it. All I did was just... Now, obviously, these equal lines are really wet inks. But the point is... You're not drowning it, you're just putting a colour on. So they also colour in really, really quickly. I wouldn't go too, too deep into the blending on your tissue paper, I'm not going to lie to you. But, you can colour in. And then, for example, on this one, I just sort of did like a purple. But no, isn't it? It's definitely orange. Around here, for the bottom part of the petals. So you could do a bit more coming out if you wanted to. All I will say is if you get it really wet, just leave it to dry. Just leave it to dry. Let it... Because the whole point is with eco lines, look, it's come through there, you see, is they reactivate. So, for example, if I wanted to add a bit more orange to this now, I absolutely could. And that's no problem at all. The only thing is, the ukulele lines, you are going to have to be prepared that it might move when you apply it to a page with your matte medium, yeah? So if we put them back over here, and get my little journal back out. This, my little Dilusions journal, is basically where I go. There's not a lot of complete pages in here. It's where I play and I test stuff out, really. Um, I doodle. This is my second one. Um, I doodle, I play, I come up with ideas. Um, there, is a, there is a girl in here that I, never, that I never made into a stamp because I never finished her. She was a bit too sketchy. I thought there was just a bit too. But there you are. Um, she was just too sketchy. Poor sausage. Right. So if I go, for example, to put that there. Do we have something else? Somewhere else to put it. Do I feel like that's a better? But is that too pastely? doubting myself now that's far too pink this is a really good um, live to catch up with on YouTube just very quickly um, because this is what to do if you have I took a page where I'd been cleaning templates on and then turned it into a finished page so that's a pretty good one there's a big sunflower there there's no background do you know what? I'm actually going to put it on here. It's quite right in there because I've got room to build other stuff around it. Right. So, again, because I want to reduce the amount of movement, okay, this ink's going to be able to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the medium, the matte medium again, on the page. Okay. And then I'm actually going to invert it so I can put this straight line but again if you've gone around this with a wet paintbrush you wouldn't have to worry about it just put the straight line up against see and then i'm going to work around the outside first stretch it out and then it's just going to be a quick go over okay and then your sunflower is on your page flat and ready to go and now as well because you've used your matte medium okay your eco line ink is actually sealed in so then if you wanted to go in there now for example and use your stamp and mask sheets and cover that up and add other stuff around you could and that's not going to move okay so that's something else you can do with it, which we like. All right. So moving swiftly on while that dries, we're going to pick another image. 
I don't know which one now. I'm just starting to rip it now. Getting impatient. So, let's change the habit of a lifetime. I'm going to put that stamp back whilst I'm still on my live. Sometimes they don't even make it back between lives, so you know. Trying new things, trying new things. Um, we'll go for... I think we should go for another face. Shall we go for a whatever works? Always lovely. And we can, we can always invert that one if we want to as well. Because the good thing about this one is she has her other eye. So you can put that on if you want to. So we'll stamp up one side of her face here. going to ink up the other eye so I'm just going to bring that a little bit closer towards me just to match it up and then we're going to go and we're going to go to this page here where we've got some texture paste that I've used through the Inkables Big One Bakewell, obviously. Okay, but this is quite a dark page that I've put quite a lot of ink on. So this will be a real test as to how translucent it goes, doesn't it? I'm going to give that a quick, another quick whiz with the heat tool to make sure la, 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 la. and then bring me big scissors air fryer alert I know it is Annie hey Abs what are you cooking in your air fryer chicken nuggets chicken Annie, Annie recognised the beep it's a very nice beep it's a very nice beep Okay. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put that face on there. Now, obviously, with the texture of that, stamping that over there would be impossible. Not just improbable, actually impossible. So, but again, we could also invert it. Oh, should we invert it? That actually looks quite good like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's invert another one. Right. So, I'm going to take... Now, I want this to go as translucent as possible. So, I'm going to get my blending mat. And we're going to do a, a first layer. Now the reason I'm not doing this on the page is because that is a page of Dilutions ink that will move if you let it. And then I'm just going to let it fall onto it and then with my wet collage medium brush. I'm going to I'm gonna think like the scouts and I'm gonna dip 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 dob dob dob. Alright again, working on your edge and working in the grooves. You can see we are progressively getting more translucent. Now the cool thing is if you get an air bubble or something, as you may do, just pop it. And just pop it. Okay, this is quite a big brush, so I might just pop in a sec. Okay, 
so the slightly narrower brush I was using to do the water in earlier I'm just going to go in use this one to go in the gaps and then, because that will just push the stamping tissue closer to the edges of the texture paste One of the things I'm not saying it's something you'd want to do every day. Like what I mostly use the stamping tissue for is just for when I'm pretty confident I won't be able to get it a clean stamp on a textured or prepared surface. But it's nice to have the versatility to do these other things. So I'm effectively just drawing around the texture paste of the bakewell with this brush right now. to make it fit and then I'm going to pick this up so you can see then got all the texture nice but the edge of the edge of the stamping tissue is here yeah you can just work it in Okay, so that's the thing. You can definitely just work in around your texture paste and things like that, which is also great if you're coming back to a pre-started page again. Yeah? Because it just opens up these possibilities for you and then you can mix and match with maybe some transparency prints or something like that, which is really, really, really good. But I think... The thing for me, possibly mostly, is the fact that you can add stuff in later. So, for example, you've done your background. Even if you've already done um, a, a stamp and tissue background, or you've used your catalyst papers and then some inks, or things like that, and then you think, well, actually, I wish I'd have put a row of the large numbers or some stitchy borders or something on there it means you can stamp them onto your stamping tissue and then add them in as and when you feel right okay so that's over texture paste i'm now just looking for and i did this on a live recently i just can't remember the journal i was in i think i was in my classics so bear with yes i was <laughs> you can actually also heat emboss on it before you stamp it in. Let me put that flat actually. Okay. So, again, those that are familiar with me know I do not like to heat emboss live. Okay. But when you guys put me under pressure, I feel like I have to. Okay. <laughs> so I did. I just did um I did heat embossing on a live. I mean I didn't know before I started um how successful the heat embossing on the stamping tissue would be. But the whole point is we had done the page and we were like, right, now we want to add something on. But I wouldn't have wanted to try and heat emboss directly on this in because I want I wanted it to be a perfect stamp. Um so by doing it on the stamping tissue, it means you get a chance to perfect it. If you do get it wrong, it did go right first time. And then just layer it straight in onto your background. Sorry, yeah, this is just in my classics journal. Um, and that's good. <laughs> Anything that makes stamping easier for you, knowing that you're going to get the right result. Now, to be fair, it doesn't just have to be used on journals. This can be used on your card making. If you're finding when you're making cards you're not getting the stamp finish that you want you know it's not coming out it's clear and precise as you would probably prefer it to be the stamping tissue is the way to go all right i'm on a roll tonight gail it's this is 
at the risk of repeating myself, because I've said this 346,000 times, one of the reasons we like stamps so much is their versatility. You can do so much with them. You can stamp them. You can stamp with paint, ink. You can stamp and heat emboss. You can then stamp things to go on 3D objects, to go in art journals, to go on cards. And, all, and you can do all of those things and you still have the stamp to play with. Yeah? That's why we like stamps. It's this, like the stamping tissue. You can use it for just the basics. Like I say, every day I would use it for stamping and sticking down. And that's pretty much it. So it gives me a perfect image that I can put flat. But you can do so much more with it. And that's what makes it a good product. Okay? Because it's just good. Alright? Now, I will say this. If you do go for the six sheets okay i would keep one as a mucky sheet okay and what i mean by that is you keep one sheet one sheet okay i've got a new mucky sheet okay that you use for going eat underneath stuff when you're spraying or you use it for mopping up extra ink or things like that okay because what that is, um, is is you're preparing backgrounds ready to go and then you can stamp on them stick them in your journal put on your wordy stickers and it's a nice quick page if you want to if you feel like you want to do a page you haven't done a page in a while um but you've got to get something down okay so keep keep one for your mop-up sheet and your mop-up ink and paint and everything on it that's what i would say but you don't have to listen to me very many people choose that option, I have to say. Um, right. Right, right. So, so. Well, doing that all... So, da, 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 da. So, stamping tissue. I can come down there. I do like to use the, the faces with stamping tissue. Is that much become obvious? Um, but I do. They're good. I think it's because with the faces you can turn them round. Do you know what I mean? You've got that other piece of versatility with them. So, get your stamping tissue out. Have a play with it. It's a really versatile thing, and it's just something else you can do with your stamps as well. Okay? Because that's what we like. Versatility with our stamps. Okay, right, so tomorrow I am live in crafting together with all brands um, at 2 o'clock. If you are on Facebook and you are about and you'd like to join me, that would be lovely. Um, but that live will be uploaded to the YouTube channel as soon as possible but then sally sally the crafty ninja herself will be here tomorrow evening at eight o'clock and that is one you do not want to miss because she is going to be working in the perspex graphics journal it's like a plastic oh i didn't show you me like lay layering tissue up on things did i abby I don't suppose you know, you remember that bookmark I gave you that I did the put tissue paper on? Yeah. Have you got that to hand? It's upstairs and quickly go and grab it if you aren't. Is your sister gone to bed? Uh, then like five minutes ago she won't be asleep. Ah, don't worry, I'll put a picture on, of on it in a bit. Um, so yeah, you can use the tissue paper for that. So yeah, Sally's going to be using the, the, the clear plastic graphics journal tomorrow night, eight o'clock. So that is one not to be missed. So get your stamping tissue out. Have some fun. Sam's put a link on there for you. Um, and don't forget the new wordy stickers as well because they're really, really awesome. Have a great evening, guys. Bye.